My first experience with epilepsy, I was 11 years old. I was in the car and all of a sudden I woke up in the car on the floor and my dad was like shaking me, asking me if I was all right. I had more experiences just like the same. I would fall on the floor and wake up or have a, have a smaller version and just say that I was okay. As a child, the treatment for me um, was medication. In my teen years, I was driving, I could drive. I did have, have a seizure in the car and drove into Chapman's Pond, actually. Medication was not working. With somebody still having seizures despite having tried a few medications at appropriate levels under the care of a good epilepsy neurologist, at that point, they should probably be considered for uh, surgery. In Wesley's case, it was pretty clear that his seizures were coming from um, a certain part of the brain called the temporal lobe, and we had some good evidence to suggest that was the area that we should focus on. We discussed all different types of neurosurgery. We um, finally came to an agreement in that the laser ablation was the, the best way to go for my case. Laser ablation is a relatively new procedure uh, for use in the brain and the basic idea is that a laser generates heat that can be used to ablate or remove tissue that's otherwise not doing the patient any good that might be causing problems such as an area of the brain that's causing epilepsy. So in order to guide the fiber optic for the laser into the right target in the brain, we use a relatively new technique which involves um, creating a patient customized 3D printed stereotactic platform and this is an example of one where the laser probe would go in through this hole right here towards the target and because it's patient customized it's very very accurate and removes potential sources of error that can be found with some of the other older devices. Once the fiber optics in place in the operating room we then remove the platform and those screws and the patients move to the MRI where the actual laser ablation is done. This is an MRI scan showing the lesion that we created in order to treat his epilepsy. And you can see that there's this area here that's different from the other side. And that's where the ablation was made. This dark structure right here is the hippocampus, which is the part of the brain in his case that was causing the seizures. And the fiber along this whole way doesn't heat up. It's just the very tip that heats up. We slowly bring the fiber back and that's how we create a lesion that extends along the length of the hippocampus. The next day, I, I, did, I did feel a little slower, but I felt, for the most part, fine. I was back to my overall day-to-day -day routine. In Wesley's case, um, he had a significant reduction in his seizures. Before surgery, I was having 20 a day. Now, after, I am having one to two a week and they're very small. So about half patients, their seizures go away. Many of the other patients still have a significant reduction such as he had. One of the things that makes us really happy about Wesley's outcome is that even though he's not completely free of seizures yet, um, he has been able to go back to full-time work and he's found a new career path that he's really happy with. I always love to paint and do things like that and I'm, welding is sort of an art form and I took my lessons and I would never regret it. That's what it really comes down to. It's the sort of career path that, if somebody's having a lot of seizures, would be very risky, but because his seizures are now much better controlled, he can undertake those sorts of activities. And, and I think that's really what we're setting out to do, is to improve somebody's quality of life, to allow them to do the things they want to do with their lives.